Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is video about sketching the graph of polynomial function. Here is the question. Given the function fx is equal to x to the power of 3 plus 6x squared plus 9x plus 6. Find, if any, the critical points, the intervals where the function increase and decrease, extreme points, the intervals where the function concave up and concave down, inflection points, and then sketch the graph. So, to sketch the graph of polynomial function, we need to find terms A until E. First, we find critical points. To find critical points, we need to find the derivative of the function f. So, we need to find f prime x is equal to differentiate function x to the power of 3 we get 3x square plus differentiate 6x square we get 12x plus differentiate 9x we get 9 and differentiate 6 0 after differentiate function f we need to equate the derivative of function f equate to 0 means f prime x need to be equal to 0. So, our function 3x square plus 12x plus 9 equal to 0. Then, we need to find the value of x. So this equation we can uh, simplify, we get x square plus 4x plus 3 equal to 0 and then factorize x square plus 4x plus 3 we get x plus 3 multiply by x plus 1 equal to 0. Then we get the value of x equal to negative 3 and x equal to negative 1. So the critical points are x equal to negative 3 and negative 1. Later, we need to sketch the graph so that we need to find the coordinate of the critical point. For x equal to negative 3, we need to find the value of y so we can substitute into function fx. Our function fx, uh, we substitute x equal to negative 3. So our function fx is x to the power of 3, so substitute negative 3, the power of 3, plus 6 multiplied by negative 3 square plus 9 multiplied by negative 3 plus 6 so that we get uh, 6 so the coordinate uh, at the critical point x equal to negative 3 is negative 3 6 then find Coordinate for x equal to negative 1. Find f negative 1. f negative 1. Substitute into the function fx. So here we have negative 1. The power of 3 plus 6. Multiply by negative 1. The power of 3. Plus 9. Multiply by negative 1 plus 6. So this one we get 2. So the coordinate for x equal to negative 1 is negative 1, 2. So our critical points are negative 3, 6 and negative 1, 2. Next, we want to find intervals where the function is increase or decrease. 
First, we take our critical points that are negative 3 and negative 1. If we express the critical points in the line number, we can put here first is negative 3 and then here is negative 1. This means for the, for the number less than negative 3, we can write as x less than negative 3. For number between negative 3 to negative 1, we can write x greater than negative 3 and less than negative 1. For number uh, x at the right side negative 1, we can write x, x greater than negative 1. Then test the value for each interval in the first derivative. Our first derivative just now, f prime x is equal to x plus 3, x plus 1. Alright, first let's try for the value of x less than negative 3. For example, negative 4. The value of x less than negative 3, for example, negative 4. Then substitute into first derivative. So substitute here negative 4 plus 3. Multiply by negative 4 plus 1. So here we get negative 12. Multiply by negative 3. So we get positive 24. So we get a positive here. So we put the sign positive in the interval x less than negative 3. Next, choose the value for x between negative 1 to negative 3. For example, negative 2. Then substitute into the first derivative. So here we have negative 2 plus 3 multiplied by negative 2 plus 1. So here we have 1 multiplied by negative 1. So here we get negative 1. So we get a sign is negative here. So put sign negative in the interval between negative 3 to negative 1. Alright, next, choose the value for the interval x greater than negative 1. For example, 0. So substitute x equal to 0 to the first derivative. So substitute here, we have 0 plus 3 multiplied by 0 plus 1. So we get 3. So we get positive 3. Then put sign positive in the interval x greater than negative 1. Then look at our sign here. If we get positive, means function will increase in the interval x less than negative 3. If function is negative, so uh, it means function will decrease at the interval negative 3 to negative 1. So sign positive mean function will increase at the interval x greater than negative 1. Now we get the interval of increasing at the positive sign is uh, x less than negative 3 and x greater than negative 1 or we can write into the interval form so we can write for x less than negative 3 we write as negative infinity to negative 3 and for x greater than negative 1 we can write negative 1 to infinity. Interval of decreasing 
at the sign negative so the interval is x between negative 1 to uh, negative 3 to negative 1 negative 3 to negative 1 and then from this table also we can express the curve of the function here is function uh, will increase and then function will decrease from here function will decrease and then function will increase so this curve we call that maximum point and this curve we call minimum point so now we get the answer for extreme points maximum and minimum point so for maximum point maximum point occur in negative 3 so the maximum point or coordinate for maximum point is negative 3 6 we have the coordinate just now negative 3 6 and minimum point occur in negative 1 so the coordinate for minimum point is negative 1 2 next we want to find intervals of concave up and concave down first we need to find second derivative find f double prime x is equal to so differentiate 3x square we get 6x plus differentiate 12x we get 12 differentiate 9 we get 0 then equate the second derivative to 0 so equate 6x plus 12 equal to 0 then we get the value of x here is equal to negative 2 then draw table same as uh, we find the interval of increasing decreasing so here we have x equal to negative 2 so we have just uh, one number so put negative 2 here uh, so the interval here means x less than negative 2 and the right side means x greater than negative 2 so draw table here then test the value in, for each intervals in the second derivative test the value in the second derivative 6x plus 12 so first we try for x less than negative 2 choose the value for x less than negative 2 for example negative 3 so substitute into the second derivative here so we have 6 multiplied by negative 3 plus 12 so we get negative 6 so the sign is negative so we put the sign negative in the interval x less than negative 2 then for x greater than negative 2 choose the value for x greater than negative 2 for example 0 substitute 0 into the second derivative so we have 6 multiplied by 0 plus 12 so we get 12 so the sign is positive here positive 12 so put sign positive in the interval x greater than negative 2 all right from this table sign negative is referred to concave down sign positive is referred to concave up so we can write concave down in the interval x less than negative 2 or we can write into the interval form as negative infinity 
to negative 2. And concave of in the interval x greater than negative 2 or we can write into the interval form as negative 2 to infinity. From this table also we can see that the curve is changing from concave down to concave up. So this point we call that inflection point. Inflection point happen when the curve is changing from the concave up to concave down or changing from the concave down to concave up. So now we get our inflection point happen at the point x equal to negative 2. So the inflection point or coordinate for inflection point is negative 2, 4. Now we can sketch the graph, take the maximum point, minimum point and inflection point and plot their coordinates. Alright, first we plot the coordinate for maximum point, negative 3, 6. So here, negative 3, 6. And then minimum point, negative 1, 2. Here, negative 1, 2. And inflection point, negative 2, 4. Here, negative 2, 4 is the inflection point. Now we can try to sketch the graph. So for maximum point, negative 3, 6, the curve must be uh, something like uh, uh, concave down. Alright, concave down. And minimum point must be uh, concave up. Curve must be concave up. So it must be like this. Alright, we can try to draw or sketch the maximum curve. Here, yeah, maximum curve. And then connect the dots. Connect the dots and going to the minimum curve. And going up. And for this function, we get uh, y intercept is 6. We can find from substitute the uh, value of x equal to 0 into the function fx. Then we get the function fx equal to 6. Alright, finish sketching our polynomial graph.